You truly are a feast for my eyes. Nature outdid itself with you. Did you wish to speak? <laughs> Indeed. Our time with them was certainly bracing. <laughs> Takes me back to some youthful misadventures in the Underdark. It was a long time ago. I was a foolhardy young druid, intent on seeing the beauty of nature's unworldly fauna and subterranean glow for myself. Certain events transpired, and I found myself a guest of a noble drow house for a time. Well, something between guest, prisoner, and consort, perhaps. The house matron took an interest in me, and the patron also. They saw me as a novelty, perhaps. I was chained in their bedchamber for nigh on three years. Time can prove to be a trickster on one's recollections. What would be multiple lifetimes for others now separate me from my captivity? Perhaps I have lost perspective on what happened to me. I have not had true confidence for some time. The Shadow Curse robbed me of almost all my peers and replaced them with the weight of responsibility. Perhaps that caused me to gild undeserving memories of my youth. I am lucky to have your counsel. It was sorely needed. Lolf's noble houses are constantly at each other's throats. And eventually, the house that held me fell out of favor and was attacked. It was chaos. Drow against drow, the clash of blades echoing throughout the caverns. The feel of warm blood that I could not see. I took my chance and fled while all were distracted. I never looked back until I breathed fresh air again and never learned what came of my hosts. <laughs> 